Hey guys, it's me, Mr. 250, and welcome to AI the Somnium Files, and as a second welcome, welcome back. Uh, it's been a while since we've made any videos. I'm a little bit sick today, recovering. I uh, may go into that more later, but for the time being, we're going to go ahead and get started with this game. I have seriously been looking forward to this for a while, and I did, like, play about, like, a minute of this, um and then realized I didn't like exactly how I started it, so I started over. Um, but that's, that's seriously all I've seen is like one minute of this. Um, and honestly haven't gotten much of anywhere. And I hope you guys are excited. It's been a while. It really has. Um, I've been playing a lot of games by myself, which is one thing I really wanted to do with, you know, my newly gained free time from not making, you know, all the videos and stuff. But, uh, namely, the other thing is I'm actually about to get a lot more free time soon, um, for quite a while. So I should be able to make more videos. I don't know what kind of schedule or how often or anything I'm going to do with that sort of thing, but, uh, I'd really like to do more videos. And definitely this game as well. I like the first game a lot, and I'm definitely looking forward to this one. Where <laughs> am I? So we got a new face here. You okay, Ryuki? All right, let's keep going. Next question. In Indian mythology, what is the name of the half-god, half-beast spirits that imbibe sense and are known for their musical ability? I'm not good at, uh, at TV game shows. Alright. So right now I am playing with a uh, keyboard and mouse. It's a bit of a long story, and uh, I'll explain it a little bit, potentially, as we go on, but... Um, for the time being, I'm playing this just on my laptop, so I don't have um, all my other screens, and I'm in a different area, so if I sound different, that's why. I'm also kind of sick, um, although I'm getting off of being sick, so just some context for you guys. And as you'll be able to see... Uh, oh yeah, so what I was going with that, sorry, was... Um, we may be playing with controller in the future. I've heard that's kind of the better way to play a game like, like this. I think that's kind of how the first game was as well. But for the time being, I don't have a controller available to me. So, uh... Well, uh... We're just gonna play with keyboard and mouse today. And really, mouse is all you need for most of this, I believe. Being a person... Yeah. can make it larger. Okay. Who are you? <laughs> you feeling all right there, Mr. Ryuki? Okay. I've been playing a lot of visual novels lately. So definitely uh definitely still on the visual novel train here. How do you oh, look like right. that? What? Ah, how about this? I'll repeat the question for you, okay? In Indian mythology, what is the name of the half-god, half-beast spirits that imbibe sense and are known for their musical ability? Now remember, the other teams can press their buttons too if they know the answer. It's that button right on top of your table. They definitely don't look to be doing that. Okay, so they want me to press the answer button. We will in a minute. Why is he all blue? Maybe he's feeling down. What? You're joking, right? What are you talking about? It's good to see the boss here. Boss. Even though... I don't know what... I, I Honestly, I don't know what's happened between these two stories. I did see... Um, they put out a couple teaser videos that were mostly nonsense, but were obviously meant to have some amount of importance um and then there was a um like a fake a fake uh 
Twitter account set up for some of the characters in the game. Um, and I, I browsed through those a little bit, and that was kind of, you know, intriguing and interesting a little bit. Um, other than those two little bits of information, I really have purposefully been avoiding information about this, so... Um, I don't even know why boss is here. What am I doing here? Well, no, I, I can't say that. I can also say I believe it's, um... It's a Mi Mizuki? Mizuki? Something like that? The girl from the first game, I think, is like the main character of this game now, instead of... Uh, Date, you know, who is probably like dead or something. I don't know. Just press the button already. You see that button on the table, right? Push it and you get to answer the question. In Indian mythology, what is the name of the half god, half beast spirits that imbibe sense and are known for their musical ability? If you know the answer, spit it out. Okay. That's the answer button for the quiz. Ah, good. We have another strange eyeball creature. Why don't you press it? Toma, you mean this button? Yeah. You'd better hurry, or the other teams are going to answer before you. I did notice our character does have the, you know, the funny, like, one eye's different color from the other thing. Like in the first game. So, makes sense. There we go! Team Popo was the quickest. Popo? And your answer is... Like, fight for police? Oh, jeez. It's Date. Huh? What? The answer is Gandharva. Gandharva? Okay. Okay, let's keep going then, shall we? Next question. Not doing well, I see. Are you familiar with the new Cyclops serial killings? Yes, this is where I thought we were going. Uh, what? No, no, not you, Mr. Ryuki. This question is for that person on the other side. Mm. Like, like me? Who, who was that? Okay. This <laughs> Hurry now, your answer, please. This is the Faith to Face Special, a six-hour quiz show live stream marathon. Have you forgotten? Man, that's got to be embarrassing. The question is whether or not you're familiar with the new Cyclops serial killings. I'm assuming they're... Easy, right? that's, that's the killings in the first game, right? When Team Popo presses the button, you must be ready to answer. Ah, but before you do, I want you to take this question very serious. <laughs> the new Cyclops serial killings, the incident in which many victims got their eye gouged out and murdered. Are you or are you not familiar with it? This will determine if we can dig into the details. Of that incident in the coming six days. In other words, we're asking if we can give you spoilers for the first game. But don't worry. Even if you don't know anything about it, it won't affect how you progress through this game. The soft not serial killers and what you're about to experience? They have nothing to do with each other. Promise. Of course they wouldn't. Why would you even make another why would you make a sequel? Anyway. So please, just tell me honestly, are you familiar with the new Cyclops series? They're really killings? doing, they're really trying to hint at you as the player. Um, so I'm going to run this with the expectation that anybody who's watching this has either played, either seen my, you know, playthrough of the first game, has played through it themselves, or who legitimately doesn't want to, although I would highly not recommend that. I, I really liked the first game. Um, so if you're interested in watching this, I would definitely recommend at least playing through it yourself. <laughs> if not, if not uh, watching mine or whatever you want to do. Um, but yeah, let's say, uh, I don't know. Let's say we're not. Thank you. I'm glad you answered truthfully. 
There are all sorts of things in this world you're better off not knowing after all. Oh, did you hear that sound? That means the next question will be the last. Are you ready? Is that, did that question even matter? I thought they were going to give me like a, a like a flashback. Dream. It's a dream that lets you see the future. But these precognitive dreams, are they really, truly, real? <laughs> I love this, uh, existential game shows. Isn't that fun? Don't you do it too. Oh no. Oh. Kinda thought I would see a lot more of like, you know, inside but you know that that's okay. Okay, yeah, that's a, a pretty strange intro. Be careful, Mizuki. I've detected a biological response. This is a little more what I was expecting, you know? Kind of how the first game started, where it just started you right in the middle of a case. Um, that was a strange intro, but I guess you don't need to necessarily show them the same intro as the last time. They've already, they already have an idea of what your game series is like. You know, the players. You don't necessarily have to do that at the beginning of the next game. Three o'clock. Distance of 315 feet. In the middle row of seats. Oh, I, I wasn't ready for quick time. She just deflect a bullet with her uh, scalp or whatever that is. Pipe? Oh, yeah, I think that's the pipe from the first game. But it's got cool glowy lights on it, so it's cooler. You gain special visual information. Select zoom night vision icon. Zoom in. Night vision mode. Roger that. Okay, so nothing right there. I don't see anyone. This music is like pretty... Oh wait, no, is that... I think that's them right there, but... This music is pretty good. I'm liking this. Use the x-ray next. Understood. Ah, there we go. Found you. Who is that? Identity unknown. Judging from their figure, they appear to be female. Ah, so she's jealous, huh? I bet that's it. Why else would another girl target me? You can't think of any other reason? Well, sure, but I'm really cute, you know? That's why other girls don't like me much. I am fairly certain that has more to do with your personality. Mizuki. Load Evolver with a stun grenade round. You should be able to knock your opponent unconscious by detonating it near them. Got it. Avoids everyone's favorite. The ammunition loading animation. I think that's a different okay, gun from the first ready. game too. That's like a little short thing. I will display the aiming reticle. Take aim and pull the trigger. On it.
Oh, oh, I get to do it. Really makes me feel like I'm in the game. What's with this little... Go now. Oh, yep, we uh, we killed her. Detecting the target's footsteps. They seem to be heading toward the stadium exit. Ugh, can't let them get away. Mizuki, wait. Even you won't be able to catch up to them. More importantly... Oh yeah, the dead body in the middle of the field, or... There's something there. Is that is that half a body? Is that going to be the thing in this game? Is that there's just people cut literally top to bottom in half? Yes. I mean, that was the thing in the last game, right? Was the eyeball thing? Hey, that's... You recognize him? Yeah, I'm sure of it. I'll never forget. It's... The left half of his body. His name is Jin Furoe. I remember it clearly. Six years ago, at Studio Divita. The right half of his body. He's not doing a whole lot of bleeding. I mean, I guess that was six years ago. All the blood's probably, you know. Ryuki, what's gone. wrong? Pull yourself together. These are some more familiar faces. Jeez. Where am I? Don't tell me you were sleeping. Who falls asleep in the middle of a live stream? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Yuki, you're working under Boss, right? Boss, have you been giving him vacation time? She's probably working him to the bone on his off hours, too. I resent that. That is not true. I just have him scrape the stratum corneum off my heels every once in a while. <laughs> ah, sorry, I almost forgot to laugh. Hey, Ryuki. Are you sure you're alright? Oh, um, yeah. Alright, now that Mr. Ryuki is away. Let's get back to it, shall Your we? Your head is extremely square and extremely large. Here we go. Next question. Which Taoist symbol, shaped like interlocking black and white commas, represents the origin of all things? What the? A blackout? What are you standing around for? Get the lights. <laughs> yeah, I'm on it. Wow. Fray to free? It's got a QR code. Huh. That's weird. Who put half of a body here? I'm starting to remember. I think in the first game I used the, um... Just the keyboard controls to play the game. Because I think they let you do that. I'm going to try that for a little bit. And maybe that's what I'll end up doing. At least for now. Yeah, so you... Okay, so yeah, you can move cursor with WASD. I see about the controls at the bottom now. It's an interesting location. Although I feel... I do find it a little easier to move this with the mouse, but we'll see. It's an interesting location, though. I guess like the first game, too, right? It was a, um, once again, complete 100% spoilers for the first game. Don't, don't watch this uh, video series unless you're okay with that or you've seen or played the game. But, uh, you know, first game... The whole scene for that first murder was the, um, was like the little, not, not circus, but I guess it was kind of a circus fair area. 
um, in a closed off area due to a um, some kind of industrial accident although I think that was actually a lie if I remember that right now we're in a large sporting arena which is kind of weird It's snowing, but it hasn't piled up yet. Yeah. By the way, Mizuki, there is something that has been bothering me. What's this? This is the field before law enforcement arrived. Notice anything peculiar? No, nothing in particular. The turf runs a considerable distance and is wet from the snow. If someone were to step on it, they would leave a trace. However... There aren't any footprints. Indeed. Then... How did the body... Unknown. Perhaps they descended from the sky. Or rose up from the ground. I was gonna say, coming from the sky... Or they teleported here. Yes. Teleported? I was joking. Do not take it seriously. I appreciate Iba being back. A little bit sad about Date not being here, but, you know... It is what it is, and it lets us have a new story character as well. But, uh, yeah, we're definitely open to the sky, so... It could have been, you know, air dropped in somehow. Boss, she's my direct superior now. You do know I'm the commander of Abyss, right? Right, but that's why I'm asking. Isn't it a bit weird for you to be at a crime scene in person? This case is special. I saw it too, six years ago. The other half of the corpse. At Studio Divita. And the HB case is still open, even after all this time. HB? The reputation of the whole department hangs on this case. By HB yeah. case, she is referring to the half-body serial I was case. about to say, does HB stand for, stand for half-body? But I guess it does. <laughs> so named because the victim's bodies were cut in two. The culprit is known as Terror. Their identity is unknown. Six years have passed since Terror first made themselves known, but we have yet to find any promising like, like leads. Like Terror because they tear the bodies in half? I already know that. You don't have to explain it. Ah, yes, but somebody needs to know that. I've been Tama Talk. Terror is two meanings. Or tear. Tear is in when you cry. The other tear means to rip something. Culprit of the HB case is more of a reference to the latter. It's a bonus feature, you don't need to read it to progress the game. By adding an ER at the end of terror, we get terror. I was thinking something more along the lines of like, as they were a terror, like, you know, a singular word without the ER ending. But knowing this game and its reference to eyes um i wouldn't be surprised if the tier part does have something important to do with this oh yes let's learn about date why what is it well i was just wondering if he contacted you or anything i would have let you know right away if he did date was caught in that explosion six years ago and has been missing ever since really date's body was never recovered from the scene don't worry I am positive it would take more than that to kill Kaname Date. I am certain he's at the Hot Springs District in Atami or someplace, spending his time in leisure. If he is, I'd go down there and drown him in that boiling water myself. Okay, so I guess this is them telling me, you know, because they seem to want to play it out. Hold on, Date's an Abyss Special Agent who lived with Mizuki until seven years ago. He's Mizuki's adoptive father. Back then, I was Date's partners on investigations. I was nestled in, nestled in Date's right left eye socket. Ever since the explosion incident six years ago, he's been missing. Um, it seems like they're trying to write it, you know, which is, I guess, smart. But they're trying to write it from the perspective of, oh, you don't necessarily have to play the first game to play this one. Which is smart from a... 
from like a sales perspective, you know, as like a as a business, you don't want to exclude people just because they haven't played the first game. But at the same time, it does feel a little strange to me to be getting told these things. I do know there was an option to turn off like tutorials and stuff, but considering it's been a little while, I still kind of want to keep them. Especially if there are any tutorials for potentially new actions or, you know, new features that they've added in. I don't want to miss those uh, just by turning off tutorial, but um, I don't know. With it being such a story-heavy game, it seems very strange that they would allow you to jump around like this. But maybe it's true in that they're really not connecting the events of the two games in any way. They just really, you know, and and I will agree with this, uh, they liked the characters, the personalities, and the kind of world environment, and they wanted to keep that going without necessarily losing out on, um, you know, losing out on those, but still make a new story. Which I guess in that sense makes sense and you don't need them to tie together. And I'll be honest, I don't remember a lot from the ending of the first game. I'm trying to remember it right now. I remember... You know, you finally figuring out information from different timelines. Um, Date using the, the, the creepy machine and pulling his eye out or something. Um, right. I remember now. They had to... Because Date wasn't Date. That's right. The original Date was like was like the crazy murderous serial killer guy. And and then you swapped bodies at the end. I remember now. I might have to go back and rewatch some of my videos on that after I finish with this. Because I'd like to get a little more context, because I kind of forgot that. <laughs> um, until like right now. Anyway, let's keep going, sorry. Just uh Maybe I should have done a little more research back into the first game before I started. Of course. Not. What? Why not? Because you're only 18, Mizuki. You're still a student at Sekiba High. But I barely even go now. I graduate in a month. I hardly have any classes left. The point is, you're still a student. Then why did you let me join Abyss? Because I thought you had potential as a sinker. I assume your gargantuan strength and combat ability were a factor as well. But you're basically still an intern. You've only been training for about a month. It's way too early to put you in the field. Ugh, yeah, I thought you'd say that. Please, boss. I have to. This case is... Can you not give me the puppy dog eyes? You know I'm weak to the puppy dog eyes. <laughs> Fine, but promise me one thing. Swear to me that you won't do anything dangerous or illegal, no matter what. Yeah, I swear, I swear! And one more thing. I am your superior. You should address me with a little more respect. 10-4, boss man. <laughs> I read you loud and clear. Do you? I appreciate them bringing Aiba back. Very unique character. You could say uh, Date was too, but, you know. Anyway. Isn't there a trace of any dis or there isn't a trace of any disturbance on the field? So how did the body get here? Oh no. I just started investigating, really. Weird though, isn't it? He got killed six years ago. But the body shows up now? It must have been keeping him on ice. Nah. The lining has eating wires in it, so I'm warm. Oh, thank you for the concern, though. All right, well, we're going to save the corpse body for last. What? You really don't know? I can't tell if you're an important character or not. He looks unique enough to maybe be, but also, like, not detailed enough to also not be an important character. I'm Detective Ushidera, Special Investigations Office, MPD. I don't even have to ask about you. You're Mizuki Okira, 18 years old. A high schooler attending Sekiba High. The all-girls school, right? Ah, but Okira is your former name. You've been adopted by Date, if I 
remember correctly, you were at the studio when the other half of the corpse was found. So I take it you were there too? What does that mean? Frey to free? Or is that pray to free? But I see free is also an F. That wouldn't be pre. So yeah, it's free to free. Whatever that means. I kind of want to... I kind of want to take a snapshot of that. Although I feel like not head on is going to be a little bit hard. Hold on a moment. 